Hello, welcome to Great Prime TV. One of the potent ways to pray is to pray the will of God. You see, the scripture says that most times we pray amiss because we don't pray the will of God. So how do we pray the will of God? Get your scriptures. What is God saying concerning your situation? Get what God is saying concerning your situation and pray it back to God. Get those words and pray it back to God. And so in this video, we bring you scriptural prayers that will bring potency to those your issues, those your challenges, those your problems, those your predicaments. Join us as we pray. Hallelujah! God is awesome. God is faithful. We are so excited to be privileged to see the month of May. Not just in the month of May, seeing it with power, seeing it in the fullness of God. It is time. It is time for us to see the manifestations of God. And don't forget this month we are on the team. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? We are going to see God's hand mightily upon our lives. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 11 verse 12, From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force i'm excited and i'm so happy that god has kept you we are, we are so grateful to the lord we are joyful we are joyful we are joyful we are joyful isaiah chapter 12 and verse 3 with joy shall we draw water from the wells of salvation we are joyful we are joyful we are joyful we are joyful james chapter 1 from verse 2 count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation knowing that the trying of your faith worketh patience let patience have a perfect work in you that you'll be entire wanting nothing. We are excited and joyful. One that without number is a prayer platform where people are groomed, drilled, schooled, tutored, and raised in the act of praying and getting addicted to scripture. And we've been on this for two years. Lives have been changed. People have gotten so intimate with God. I'm so excited when I hear testimonies of how people now commune with the Holy Spirit. They know God for themselves. They love the Lord. They are passionate about God. We are so excited. And above all, I'm excited that we are seeing this month. This month, we are praying dangerous prayers. Dangerous prayers. And we are excited for what God has done. We are joyful that we are alive and well. I've got joy, 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 oh joy, joy. Joy, joy overflow in my life. I've got joy, 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 oh joy, 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 joy overflow in my life. I've got joy, I've got joy, joy, joy. Joy, oh joy, 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 joy overflow in my life. I've got joy, 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 oh joy, 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 joy overflow in my life. We are so grateful to the Lord. But we are going to pray today. And if you are watching by television, I want you to call someone, tell them to tune to Celebration TV. Tell them if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. There is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. There is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If you are watching online, I want to touch the like button now and begin to share the link. Share the link, touch the like button, and share the link. Now, listen, this month, I tell you, it's fire, fire for fire. We are going to be praying fire prayers. If you have never prayed, this month get ready to pray. Because the spirit of Elijah is the spirit of prayer. We cannot see the God of Elijah until we have the spirit of Elijah. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. We cannot see the God of Elijah until we have the spirit of Elijah. I send the spirit of Elijah, Elijah the prophet, before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now listen, a lot of people tell us that before the rapture, there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. All of those things are not what will precede the rapture. Those will precede the end time. But the rapture itself will be preceded by the spirit of prayer. The church will be raptured in prayer. The church will be raptured full of fire. That's why the Lord tells us. And that's what we must bring to prepare ourselves for it. The spirit of Elijah is the spirit of prayer. The spirit of intercession. Elijah was a man of prayer. 
And if you must see the manifestations of the, the, the God of Elijah, then you must. What do, we, what do we mean by the God of Elijah? What do we mean by the God of Elijah? No, there are a lot of people who say, no, uh, the, let's not talk about the God of Elijah. But listen, listen. The God of Elijah means the God that did all of those manifestations in the days of Elijah. Moving with God with the dynamics of what Elijah did. Let's be practical and honest. How many people literally can call down fire today? We need the God of Elijah. We need certain things to happen that will give honor back to the church. Certain things to happen that will make God Almighty glorified. Certain things to happen that will make God Almighty be Lord of all. Here is the Lord God of Elijah. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. You are about to pray. God is going to do great things. Look at Elijah. In the days of Elijah, God was mightily upon him and God defended him. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 15 says, The Lord of hosts shall defend you. Zechariah 9 15, The Lord of hosts shall defend them. He says in Psalm 20 verse 1, He says, The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob defend you. I, like, I need you to write this down in your comment session. Oh Lord, defend me. Write it on the comment session. Oh Lord, this month of May, defend me. Oh Lord, this month of May, defend me. Write it in the comment section now. Oh Lord, this month of May, defend me. Write it on your page. Write it everywhere. Write it, write it, write it. It's a serious month. Write it now and hashtag one that's without number. Oh Lord, defend me. Oh Lord, defend me. Oh Lord, defend me. Let God defend you. Let God glorify himself in your life. Let God defend your family. Let God defend your siblings. Oh Lord, defend me. We're going to say that here and we'll thunder in prayers. Write it now in the comment section. It's a written prophecy. Oh Lord, defend me. Oh Lord, defend me. Do that right now very strongly and powerfully. Touch the like button. Don't forget, keep touching and keep sharing the link. Keep sharing the link. Oh Lord, defend me. 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 We're going to say it right here and then we'll turn that in prayer. Number one. Oh Lord, defend me. Number two. Oh Lord, defend me. Shout again. Oh Lord, defend me. 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 Again. Ya 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 
In the name of Jesus, the Lord shall defend you. The Lord shall defend your wife. The Lord shall defend your children. The Lord shall defend your brothers. The Lord shall defend your sisters. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh my God. Touch the like button and begin to share the link. It's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. You must learn. You must learn to continually be grateful and show your gratitude to God. It qualifies you for more. There are people God looks on them and says, no, 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 preserve this person. You know why? He's going to be thankful. She's going to be thankful. Make it a daily habit. Don't see life as something that's passive. Be intentional in gratitude. Make it a deliberate, conscious intention to say, Lord, thank you. I'm grateful. Say after me, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. I thank you for life. I thank you for life. I thank you for keeping me. I thank you for keeping me. In Jesus' name. Amen. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If there's a man to pray, there is a God to answer. If you are watching by television, I want to call somebody and tell them one that's without numbers on the air on Celebration TV. But if you are online, touch the like button and begin to share the link. Share until you share through. Share the share the link. Share the link right now. Share. Let's be a blessing to somebody. But we are wrapping up today in Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 27. Let me pass through thy land. I will go by the highway. I will neither turn to the right hand nor to the left let me pass let me pass let me pass israel sent the message to a king and said to the king king let me pass don't take off the restriction take off the quarantine take off the barricade take off the speed breaker take off everything and let me pass you spirit of restriction 
in the name of Jesus, let God's people pass. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You spirit of restriction, let me pass. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. He stopped others, but he can't stop you. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Thou spirit, I'm going to advise, I feel led. Be mobile in this prayer. Do your best to be mobile. Exercise it. Ex be mobile. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Take a few steps as you are praying. That's a prophetic action. It's a prophetic action. Thou spirit of restriction. Now do something. Write it on your page, your platform. That's, imagine this. We are wrapping up the year with this. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. 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 Number one. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me pass. Shout again. Thou spirit of restriction, let me let me pass. Thou spirit of restriction, 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 let me pass. Da 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 da
Jesus, every restriction, limitation, struggle, stoppage, hindrance on your path to destiny, on your path to your next level, is lifted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree that the limitations from now will let you pass, restrictions will let you pass, hindrances will let you pass. Pass into your rest, pass into your rest, into your rest, into your rest, into your advancement in the name. Of Jesus Christ. Amen. The God of heaven is working on you. He's working on you. He's working on you. Look at this. First Kings chapter 18, verse 10. Look at what Obadiah said to Elijah. He said, As the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whither my Lord has not sent to Elijah was going to every nation looking for Elijah. Looking him. Every nation, he said, We, whither my Lord has not sent to seek thee. And when they said he's not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and the nation that found him not. He made them swear by the gods that they are not hiding him, that he was not being protected. That's how much he was eager to kill Elijah. There are people who, by all means, are doing everything to see you and your family members going to extinction this month of april of may rather even as god is god by the power of the holy spirit as many as they are as they are gathered they will eat their own flesh they will drink their own blood they will eat their own flesh they will drink their own blood they will eat their own flesh shall they pray be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered he said, Yea, the prophet of the temple shall be taken away, and the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. Yea, I will contend with them that contend with you, and I will save thy children. I decree God will save your children. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. No nation. First Kings 18, verse 10. Or kingdom that the king has not sent to seek thee. And when they said they've not found you, he made them take an oath. Anyone seeking my end by all means, oh Lord, frustrate them and let their end manifest. Anyone seeking my end by all means, oh Lord, frustrate them and let their end manifest. Anyone seeking, as you are praying, you are calling your family members. Anyone seeking my end and that of my family members by all means. I think we should add family. Anyone seeking my end and that of my family members by all means. Oh Lord, frustrate them. Let their end manifest. Anyone seeking my end and that of my family members by all means. Oh Lord, frustrate them. Let their end manifest. Anyone seeking my end and that of my family members by all means. 
Oh Lord, frustrate them. Let their end manifest. Say, my father, my father. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Anyone seeking my end. Anyone seeking my end. As that of my family member. As that of my family member. By all means. By all means. Oh Lord, frustrate them. Oh Lord, frustrate them. And let their end manifest. Anyone seeking my end, anyone seeking my end, and that of my family member, and that of my family member, by all means, by all means, oh Lord, frustrate them, oh Lord, frustrate them, and let their end manifest, and let their end manifest. Anyone seeking my end, anyone seeking my end, and that of my family member, and that of my family member, by all means. By all means, oh Lord, frustrate them, oh Lord, frustrate them, and let your end manifest, and let your end manifest, oh Lord, frustrate them, oh Lord, frustrate them, and let your end manifest, and let your end manifest, oh Lord, frustrate them, oh Lord, frustrate them, and let your end manifest, and let your end manifest, for your mouth and fire prayer. Da 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 da
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. 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 Anyone seeking your end, your means, and the end of the members of your family, may God frustrate them and let their end manifest. Amen. The Bible says, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. 
The Bible says, For Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. Oh Lord, arise in your power. Oh Lord, arise in your force. Oh Lord, arise in your grace. Show yourself, oh God, on behalf of your people. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I decree, whether in the air, the land, the sea, on the water, under the earth, anyone seeking your end through any diabolic oppression, any crystal ball, any satanic manipulation, any astrologer, any stargazer, any necromancer in the covenant of witchcraft, in their demonic monitoring gadget, anywhere they seek you, they seek your brothers, they seek your sisters, they seek your wife, they seek your children, they seek your career, they seek your profession, they seek your academic, they seek your ministry, they seek your calling. In the name of Jesus, may they be frustrated. May their end manifest. Yes, May their end manifest. Yes, May their end manifest. Yes, The word says, who is he that saith a thing and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Because we know the Lord has not commanded it. We decree in the name of Jesus. May their powers and their efforts be thwarted. 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 The Bible said in Isaiah 7 7, He shall not stand. He shall not stand. I don't know what they conspired in the coven, but today I say, He shall not stand. I don't know what they said over your children. Pronouncement over your husband. Pronouncement over your wife. Pronouncement over your tomorrow. He shall not stand. I speak the counsel of God. Oh, your life. Their work shall not stand. Their work. Bible said the Egyptians are men, they are not God. They are horses of flesh, they are not spirits. I decree today the horses and the rider below the sea. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord Elijah? Where is the Lord God of 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 Elijah? Arise! 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 In your judgment! Arise! In your judgment! Arise! In your judgment! On the wicked! On the wicked! On our foes! Arise! 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 Whether the cancer was taken at night, in the day, under the sunlight, Cut the tongue of those that took the counsel. Cut the tongue of those that took the counsel. Arise! Prove your power. Prove your strength. Prove your strength. You say, rather than my name to be polluted among the hidden, I will intervene. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That the Eden may know that there is God in heaven. That the world may know that there is a God that sits upon the throne. Upon the wings of the wind that shall stretch the earth. Pray to the land that say water should not return to land. Create a perpetual decree between the land and the sea. The God that covered himself with light as with a garment. Show yourself. Show yourself. Prove your power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Prove your power. I'm seeing somebody who has swollen lips. There's an infection on your lips. I don't know what's happened to your lips. Swollen. Terrible pains. The Lord said that warm inside falls off now. Come out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. There's a lady I see that children have been dying in your wombs. You give birth to dead babies. Dead babies. Dead babies. But right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree upon you, I make declaration that the pregnancy you are carrying now, the baby will not die. And you give birth to a living child. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I hear a name like Memphis. The Lord said I should tell you that the delay in waiting has ended. Miracle babies are coming. For those believing God for miracle children, miracle babies are coming. There is a man I see, there is something growing down your navel. There is something growing out. It's growing out 
and it's so it's, 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 it's not a good sight at all. I command it, disappear! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The hand of the Lord touch you. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you are sick in body, put your left hand where you are hurting. Si vous êtes malade, and la stretch your hand to me. Là, vous avez Everything my father has not planted, I command it to be uprooted. So, I command it to be uprooted. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the crown of your head. The sole of your feet, your bone, your tissues, your tendons, your sinews, your ligaments. Be healed. So are you gay? In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are anointing ourselves again. This is the month of May. There are blessings and vindication in this month of May. And we're going to anoint ourselves in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open the oil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By this anointing. By this anointing. I am vindicated. I am vindicated. The God of heaven. The God of heaven. The God of heaven. The God of heaven. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God. We prove Himself. We prove Himself in my life. In my life. In all that concerns me. In all that concerns me. This month of May. This month of May. I connect myself. I connect myself into the blessings of the month. The testimonies of the man. The testimonies of the man. The wealth of the man. The wealth of the man. In Jesus' name. Amen. Anoint yourself as you have spoken in his ears, so shall it be unto you. Amen. Hmm. Verse 24 of same Deuteronomy chapter 2. Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over the river Anon. Behold, I have given into thy hand Sion, the king of uh, the the Ham sound the Amorite, the king of Eshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. Now, before I tell you what sound means, God says, I've given him into thy hand. Contend with him in battle. Why will I contend in battle if you have given me? There are things that are settled in the heavenlies, but they are not settled here. Forever, O oh Lord, Psalm 119, verse 89. Whatever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. The word of God is settled in heaven. It's not settled on earth. It's your duty to settle the word of God on earth. Your destiny has been settled in the realms of the spirit. So God says, well, I've given it to you. I've given it into thy hand. In other words, I've released it. It's now left for you to contend. And that's what we're doing in the place of prayer. I have under, as far as I'm concerned, in the heavens, before the host of angels, is a done deal, is settled. But on earth is not so. That's how we pray. We say, Thy will be done on earth as it is. Because in heaven, the will is settled. But on earth, it's our duty, our responsibility to lay hold on the arms of the altar and make sure it's established. So God has no problem. It's not all, it's not all up to God. Any faith or any believer that sees destiny as God's sole responsibility is an irresponsible believer. It's not God's sole responsibility. You have a part to play. You have a role to play. He said, I've given him to you. Don't go on vacation. Don't rest. Don't relax. Contend. It means that everything God has given to us is tied to warfare. If God says, I've given you this, he says, I've given you this. Then he says, content. It means I tie this to warfare. That's how we pray. That's how we love the Lord. Because in our seeking God, in our following God, there are battles that God is handling. He says, I've given to that sound. When I checked what sound, sound means the end, the conclusion. God says, even when you think it's the end, you can still change it. Sound means coming to the end. God, you have come to that point that you think is the end. It's not actually the end. If only you can contend. If you can contend, you will discover that it's not the end. For every end, there is a bend. I will not give up. My problem must give up. When you think you have come to the end of it, you get to a spot, the devil wants you to go back and start again. The spirit of repetition is actually the spirit of the end. When you cannot break through, you cannot carve a new uh, path or chart for your life. So you think that is the end. So you come back to start again. 
begin afresh begin again there are people every end of the year same thing they experienced it five years ago four years ago there's a way their year ends when it's getting to the end of the year like that there's a pattern and that sickness and that debt and that bad news and that death in the family in the name of jesus it is cancelled today Amen. Amen. i will not give up my problems will give up i will not give up my problems will give up i will not give up my problems will give up I will not give up my problems with you. I say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. Your mouth and fire.
into your inheritance in the name of Jesus you will pass into your blessing in the name of Jesus you will pass into your rest in the name of Jesus Amen. hey this is the counsel of the Lord there are three people watching me with HIV thank you Jesus the Lord said to tell you you are HIV positive he said I should tell you now that you have just been declared negative your blood has just been cleansed and you are totally healed and free from that virus in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is healing everyone with infections, infections in your blood, any part of your body. Infection is gone. God said, check it. Go see the doctor. All the symptoms are drying up now. They're dying. The name of Jesus. Amen. Someone has been losing so much weight and you don't know why. There's a worm. You're going to pass it out. There's a worm in your system that's affecting you so much. You're going to pass it out now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hear a name like Nzehi. I don't know what that N Z E H R Nzehi. Nzehi. Your mother cursed you, placed a curse on you, and said some things against you. And that has affected you. It is reversed. By the blood of Jesus, that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord, he made the cause for us. As his written causes everyone that hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. I decree it is reversed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak the hand of God upon you. I speak the grace of God upon you. I speak the speed of God upon you. I decree you will not give up. Your problems will give up. There are pastors who are crying about to give up don't give up your mountains will give up your battles will give up in the name of jesus christ amen i speak rest over you in jesus name amen if you are sick in body place your left hand si vous êtes malade, placez votre and stretch your hand towards me et I, I curse the devil of infirmity Je me dis le diable i rebuke the devil of disease Je de ce de whatever disease. name it is called come out Quel qu soit le nom, sort be healed so guéri right now maintenant in your bone dans tes os your blood your sang your tissues the tissue your tendons your tendon your ligaments ligament your sinews sinus be healed so guéri in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. the hand of the lord touch you que la main de dieu te make you whole la franchi and heal you et te guéri in jesus name amen, amen. Somebody say, my time has come. My, my time, time has come. come. Let's... We are so excited today because we began May edition of Wonders Without Number. And this month is going to be very, very brutal. Yeah, man. Amen. Not only brutal, it's going to be very colossal. Yeah, Amen. Man. It's going to be very volatile. Yeah, yeah, man. Because we are going to be praying judgmental prayers and also destiny molding prayers. Destiny molding prayers. Your life is not in the hand of God. I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Neither is your life in the hand of an enemy. In Judges chapter 12 verse 3, I like what, what Jephthah said. Jephthah said, when I saw that none of you were willing to help, I saw that you delivered me to the enemy. I took my life in my hands. Your life is in your hand. You prepare for your tomorrow today. And you do that on the premise and the platform of prayer. Anything that makes you avoid prayer has made you avoid uh, destiny. Anything that, made you, that makes you avoid prayer has made you avoid greatness. Anytime you become too weak to pray, you lose something. So, we're going to pray today. And don't forget the theme of the month is this nonsense must stop. Amen. Amen. 
This nonsense must stop. Amen. Amen. Sickness is nonsense. Affliction is nonsense. Battles of life is nonsense. You got to stop them. Stop them. Amen. Stop them. Amen. Amen. That's why we are praying. That's why we are praying. It, it's nothing for God. Asa, King Asa, prayed a prayer. When the multitude rose up against him, he looked at his men. They were minimal in number. He looked at the multitude that has come up against him. He saw their size. And he prayed a prayer in 2 Chronicles 14, 11. He said, Lord, it is nothing we did to help. It won't take anything from you to help us. There is nothing, it is nothing we did to help. Either with small or with great. But this multitude that have come against us, there are so many. It is nothing we did to help. Please, Lord, we rest on you. It is nothing with God to change your story. It is nothing with God to transform your life. Amen. It's nothing with God to give you a turnaround. Amen. It's nothing with God to give you a lifting. Amen. It's nothing with God to give you emancipation. Amen. To make you break out of that family structure. Amen. Whatever is a battle on your life, whatever is a mountain before you, on this platform today, it shall be rolled away. Amen. It shall be rolled away. Amen. It shall be rolled away. Amen. I like what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 28. The Bible says the stone was rolled away and the angel sat on it. The stone was rolled away and the angel sat on it. Why? To prevent the stone from rolling back. The stone was rolled away. The angel sat on it to prevent the stone from hitting someone or from the stone from making anyone a casualty of the stone. He arrested it. God does not only bring emancipation, bring out of emancipation, give you emancipation, bring you out of trouble. He arrests the trouble. He puts it in check by the power of the Holy Ghost. Anything that has arrested you today, we arrest it. Amen. Amen. Today we arrest the arrester. Amen. We stop that thing that has stopped you. Amen. We terrorize your terror. Amen. We pursue your pursuer. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I just spoke to. Amen. Right now, touch the like button and share on. Share right now. Share. I told you minimal share to share of 50 people, maximum to 100 to 150. Share, share on, on Facebook, on all the platforms you're on. Share it on YouTube, touch the like button, drop the link, all your content. That's how to let people know you love them. Satan is in a hurry. Do you know Satan is aggressive? He's not negotiative. He's not negotiating. So stop trying to negotiate. Drop the link, let people pray. All your contact is just start dropping the link. Because the devil is very, very invasive. That's why, as it were, it appears that wickedness is on the increase. Because Satan is very invasive. So right now, drop the link and let people begin to pray. Drop it on all your platform. It's time to pray. For if there's a man to pray, there's there's a God to answer. Answer. Wonders Without Number is an online prayer platform where people are groomed in the act of praying and falling in love with God being addicted to scriptures, being addicted to the word of the Lord. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 says, we are the word of a king is there is power and none can say what doest thou. The power in the word of God, Colossians 3 16, let the word of God dwell richly in you with all wisdom. You need the word of God inside of you. The word of God inside of you, Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. My God, if you are rooted in the world, nothing, nothing. Battles will come. Mountains will come. Trials will come. It will all phase out because your foundation is solid. When your foundation is solid, your foundation is solid, nothing, nothing, nothing moves it because you built it on the word of God. You built it on the word of God. You know what Jesus was saying one time in Matthew 24, Matthew 7 rather, from verse 24, 25, 26 down, from 24, he says, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and doeth them. It's like a wise man that built his house on the rock. These sayings of mine and doeth them. It's like a wise man that built his house on the rock. The rain descended. The flood came. All came, but the house was standing. The rain blew on it. Beat upon that house. He said, but the house was standing. It fell not. Why? It was founded on the rock. Building your life on the world is building your life on the rock. The rain that descends, the wind that blows, the flood that comes, 
All of those are the troubles of human life. The battles of human life. They come and they go. Because you are solidly on the rock. So, I'm going to give you four scriptures. That will be prophetic declarations. And I want you to hold on to them. Hold on to them firmly. In Genesis 49, verse 19. The Bible says, God, a troop shall overcome him. But he shall overcome at the last. Jacob was talking to his sons and telling them what shall happen at four time, the latter part of their life. And Jacob got to God and said, God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. I don't know what has overcome you right now, but I decree you shall overcome at the last. Amen. Touch the light button now. I say you shall overcome at the last. Amen. I don't know what, I'll over, what has overcome you now. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. If you understand Mark chapter 5, from verse 1, Jesus entered into the city of the Gadarenes. The Gadarenes are the descendants of God. That prayer that Jacob prayed over God, in Genesis 49, 19, is what manifested in Mark chapter 5. Jacob has seen ahead that there will be a descendant from God that will be held and bound by a troop, which is a legion. He saw it ahead of time and made declaration and put a cover on that seed. Meaning you shall overcome at the last. Amen. When Jesus got to that city of the Galilee, he saw a man this man was bound by demons. The man was living in the tombs and cutting himself. A troop overcame him. People used that man as a resort. He became a tourist as a, a attraction. They bound him with fetters. He plucked it. He cut the fetters, broke it in sunder. Why? Because he was overcome by a troop. When Jesus came, he casted out the devil. The Bible said the man came to his right mind. In fact, when he asked the demon, how many are ye? What is your name? He said, we are many. My name is Legion. We are many. We just decided to give you a name that you should you understand. We are many. We are a troop. Whatever name you call us, if we start giving a road call, if we start calling our name one after the other, you won't leave this place today. So let's save your time, master. We are many. Is it poverty? Is there. Is this spirit of delay? Is there. Is it hardship? Is there. Is it setback? Is there. Is it frustration? Is there. We are many. And Jesus said, come out of the man, that unclean spirit. The Bible says, it came to his right mind. Meaning that prophecy that Jacob saw, that a troop shall overcome someone from the tribe of the Gadarenes. He said, but it shall overcome at the last. I prophesy. I receive As you hear the sound of my voice today, I it doesn't matter what has risen up against you. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. You shall overcome at the last. Amen. Battles are real. Can I say this to you? Your friends don't open you up to destiny. Your enemies do. It's the duty of enemies to open you up to destiny. It is en enemies that brings out your eminence. Actually, people you call your enemies, God calls them your friends. Because God knows that they usher you. Let me give you an instance. Peter was that person that always had Jesus' back. Was always there for Jesus, had his back. Would defend him. He brought a sword one time and cut off the ear of the servant of Malchus. Yeah, one time Jesus looked at Peter and said, Satan, get thee behind me, Satan. That's what he called his friends. But when Judas came to betray Jesus and he saw Peter, Judas coming with the troop, he said to Judas, friend, that which you want to do, do it quickly. Doesn't that amaze you? Somebody should have called a friend, they called the person Satan. Somebody should have called an enemy, called the person friend. Your enemies help you assess destiny. Without battles, you won't pray. Penina, Penina was that one that God used to provoke Hannah. Penina made a prayer warrior out of Hannah. Hannah never knew how to fast. It was Penina that provoked her too. Hannah never knew how to pray. Penina provoked her too. I prophesy on you. I I no it. matter the truth that has overcome you now, you will overcome at the last. Yeah. Yeah. 
the battles of your life will not see your end. Amen. You will see their end. Amen. The battles of your life will not see your end. Amen. You will see their end. Amen. 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 In Joel chapter 2 and verse 25, God was giving a prophetic word on the end time. I will restore unto you all the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. I will restore yeah. all the years. All the years. Yeah. Yeah. The ministry of the caterpillar, the canker worm, the locust, and the palmer worm is to eat years. The assignment is to eat years. When the man begins to struggle under the platform of delay, that man is a victim of the palmer worm, the canker worm, the locust, and the caterpillar. When a man begins to spend time in delay, what would have taken him one year is taking him 10 years. What would have taken him two years is taking him 15 years. That man is a victim of the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the locust. God, God said, I will restore ye the years. I will restore the years. Amen. You say, my apostle, I have wasted so much years. Today, God restore your years. Amen. Touch the like button and share, share. Touch the like button. Touch the like button to show that you are in agreement with this prayer. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. I saw something in the realm of the spirit now. I saw something. I saw something. I saw pictures in a very funny building. And somebody was watching over them. I saw pictures, photos, photographs in a very funny looking building. And somebody was watching, like placing surveillance over them. Wherever your photos have been taken to, submitted, consciously, unconsciously, you are aware, you are not aware, or anything that's a representative of you that has been dropped somewhere, in the name of Jesus, let fire blast. Yeah. 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 Let fire blast. 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 Yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Something is happening now. Yeah. Yeah. In the realm of the spirit. Yeah. 
Something is happening now. Amen. God is setting their kingdoms on fire. Amen. Setting their kingdoms on fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All your wasted years are restored. Amen. Type it now. Restore my wasted years. Amen. Restore my wasted years. Amen. Type it now. Restore my wasted years. Amen. Hashtag wonders without number. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Type it right now. Type it. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. 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 Type it now. On your WhatsApp story. Type it now. On all your platforms. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. The angels of God see it and attend to it. Yeah. Yeah. Sit and see it and go mad. Yeah. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. Yeah. Restore my wasted years. Yeah. 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 Restore my wasted years. Yeah. 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 Get ready right now because God is about to do something. Amen. Hope you got your oil ready because we are going to be anointing. I told you every first two days of the month of, the, of this platform, we anoint. We anoint. We'll do that today, we'll do that tomorrow. We anoint ourselves to say, all the blessings in, in, in the new month, I receive them. Amen. All the intention and plans of God for me this new month, I receive it. Amen. Right now, right now, right now. Restore my wasted years. Amen. I declare your wasted years are restored. Man, Tora Bakasile, Montalara Shogala Brakata, the Kusupra Kusha Raya, Sabatusa Brakata, the Kusha Raya, 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 the Touch the like button and share, 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 share. In Galatians chapter 5 and verse 10, Paul said to the Galatian church, I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubled thee shall bear the judgment 
whosoever he be. Amen. He that troubleth you shall bear the judgment. Amen. That is not loud. He that troubleth you shall bear the judgment. Amen. He that troubleth you shall bear his judgment. Amen. God will judge those that trouble your life. Amen. He said, whosoever he be, whether he hides on the clover of darkness, whether he hides on the clover of familiarity, whether he hides on the clover of being your blood relative, whether he hides on the clover of being someone close to you, he said, he that troubleth thee, I decree today I and for everyone hearing the sound of my voice, God will blow the cover of the wicked men around you. Yeah. God will blow the cover of the wicked men around you. Yeah. They have been hiding under darkness. God will blow their cover. Yeah. Heaven will blow their cover. Yeah. God will blow their cover. Yeah. God will blow their cover. Yeah. Blow their cover. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He says, he be not otherwise minded. He said, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment. Amen. Whosoever he be. Amen. I decree. Amen. God will trouble your troubler. Amen. God will trouble your troubler. Amen. That's what God does. One man, <laughs> one man was by a pool called Bethesda. He was having trouble in his body. In John chapter 5. He was having trouble in his body, challenging his body. The Bible said the angel of the Lord came out and said this season to trouble the water. To trouble the water. Whosoever falls into the water is made whole. Whosoever goes into the water with his trouble is made whole. Yet the angel came to trouble what was troubling them. I decree God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. God will trouble your trouble. Yeah. Yeah. How can a man have trouble in his body? What the angel came to do was to trouble. God will reply your enemies on the same language and the same pattern, the same volume with which they have thrown arrows at you. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing they've done to you, God will reply them. Yeah. Yeah. On the same breath, on the same vein, yeah, with the same aggression, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, in Psalm 118 verse 17, David said, I shall not die, Amen. but live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah, no, you shall not die. Yeah, Amen. Man. Every platform, every strategy, every foothold, of premature death, whether through family pattern, whether through mistakes, whether through carelessness, whether through iniquity, whether through the power of your past, whether through the power of evil projection, whether through evil manipulation, whether through the luring, the snare, the trap of a friend, I decree you shall not die. Yeah. Yeah. By air, by sea, or by land, you shall not die. Yeah. Yeah. By poison, by gun, or by arrows, you shall not die. Yeah. 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 But what? You shall live to fulfill Amen. the works of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Type that down. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Type it down now. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. I will live to declare the works of the Lord. Yeah. Type it now. Type it down. You will live to declare the works of the Lord. Type, yeah. it. Yeah. Type it. I will live to declare the work. Just write that down now. Hashtag one that's without number. On your platform. On your WhatsApp story. I shall live. I will live to yeah. declare yeah. the works of of the Lord. Yeah, that shall be your passion. Yeah, Verse 21. Behold the Lord thy God. Chapter 1. Of Deuteronomy, 20, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 21. Behold the Lord thy God that set the land before thee. Go up and possess it. He has set it. So you go. But listen. Fear. Possess it. As the Lord the God of Thy father, as I said unto thee, fear not, neither be discouraged. Fear not, neither be discouraged. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. It doesn't matter what you are going through, don't be discouraged. You are not permitted 
you are not permitted to be discouraged. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Your land might be your home. Your land might be a house. Your land might be a job. Your land might be a career. Your land might be anything. A wedding, marriage. No more discouragement. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Henceforth. That spirit that makes you feel down. Time to praise you. I've been prayed. Is discouragement. Shake it off. Confess it. Declare it. No more. So that that spirit will break its hold from your life. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Henceforth, no more discouragement. I possess my land. Say, my father, my father. My, my father, father, my father. father. Shout it louder. My, my father, father, my father. father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. pray. Henceforth. Henceforth. No more discouragement. No more discouragement. I possess my land. I possess my land. Henceforth. 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 No more discouragement. No more discouragement. I possess my land. I possess my land. Put your mouth and fire. we pray the anointing of a thousand times more rest upon you in the name of Jesus Amen. I declare no more discouragement arise go and possess your land go and possess your academics go and possess your marriage 
Go and possess finances. Go and possess ministry. Go and possess that career. I see a family where they, they, there was there's an issue of serpentine worship, snake worship, from your 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 family you come from, your, your, your clan, and you see snakes. Anytime you're about to get to do something major in your life, you, the snake shows up his head. It dies today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Marry Ada. Ada Mary. And now speak into your life. Ada Mary. Peace. Be still. Let the storm be over. God says, I should tell you there's restoration coming your way. Restoration. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I see somebody by the name of Paul. Egele. Paul. Egele. Paul. Egele. You are a minister. You are a minister of God. The Lord says, I should tell you, He wants to amplify your voice. Altars have been fighting you from rising. But the Father says to tell you, He has taken care of it. He says, I should tell you that the struggle is over. And every minister of God can connect to this who is going through any form of struggle. It is over in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone is watching me in England. You have two sons. One of them is bedridden. The other is falling sick now. Just the other just fell sick. The both of them, the hand of God is making them whole and touching them now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree upon your life, upon all that concerns you, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bless you with the blessings of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you're sick in body, put your left hand on the spot. Si vous êtes malade, placez votre main gauche là. Now to your bones, to your tissues, Et à tes os, the à muscles, the muscles. Someone is having something like an acne on your face. God has cleared up that infirmity. Someone with a back pain connecting to your spinal cord and your waist, God is healing you now. Joint, somebody having pains on the joints, you are healed. Someone called Charles. You have been sick. They, they can't detect what is wrong with you. Your name is Charles. God says you are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the crowns of your head to the sole of, your, the sole of your feet be made whole. So guéri. From the crown of your head de ta tête to the sole of your feet plan de tes pieds. be made whole. So guéri. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 In Second Kings chapter seven, we read verse three. That's our prayer strength for today. Second Kings, please touch the touch the like button and begin to share. We're going to pray right now because there's a man to pray. Yes, yes, God God to Second Kings chapter seven and verse three. He says, "And there were four leprous men at the entering of the gate, and they said one to another." Why sit we here until we die? Sometimes in life, when you go through battles, it's very important you know why. When you go through mountains, the first thing you must ask and inquire of the Lord is why. Nothing gives you solidity and confidence and rest like when you understand why. The reason so many believers are weeping in the midst of battles is because they don't know why. When you know why, you have rest. When you know why, you understand why, you are at peace. There were four leprous men, and we know from scriptures that everyone who was a leper in those days, they had a, a colony, a settlement. They were thrown outside the camp of Israel, and they kept them there. They would send their meals to them there. They would do all they want to do for them outside the camp. So these four leprous men were together. The first thing I want you to know is that no matter what you are going through, somebody else is going through the same thing, or even worse. There were four leprous men. Not one, not two, four. I understand that someone is going through the same thing. You are not the worst of yourself. 
You are not the worst in life. Someone is going through the same battle. Even more, even worse. The Bible says there are four leprous men at the entrance of the gates of the city. They said one to another, why? Why has all this befallen us? Prior to this time, the latter verse of chapter 6, there was an outburst. Because women were boiling and eating their child. They were eating their own children because of famine. Famine. As far as I'm concerned, that was poverty-induced witchcraft. That was poverty-induced witchcraft. Some people became witches by force, by poverty. And the Bible says because of that, the king got offended. The king got angry. And the king said, God do more to, so to me. In the head of Elisha, what did Elisha do? He was not the minister of economy. He was not the minister of finance. He was not the minister of agriculture. The king said, God do more so to me. If the head of Elisha does not leave his head today, I will cut off Elisha's head. Why did the king say that? The king knew that spiritually, the economy of that land dwelt in the hand of the prophet. In other words, he was saying, that, what is Elisha's anointing for? And what is his anointing for? Today, I will cut off his head because his anointing is a waste. When ministers of God understand that they owe the key to the economy of nations, and when nations place such demand on them, ministers will, become re ministers will, will stop being reckless. Ministers will become aggressive and productive and pray prayerful. When somebody can say, I'm going to see you today. My pastor will tell me why I'm not married. My pastor will tell me, that's for my faithfulness to the Lord. When you know to place such demand, answers come. You put them on the spot for them to start asking God questions. The Bible says that Elisha gave a prophecy. In verse 1 of 2 Kings chapter 7, by this time tomorrow. By this time tomorrow. I decree upon somebody hearing the sound of my voice. I receive, I receive. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, things will change. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, your life will turn around. Yeah. By this time tomorrow, God will give you a testimony. Yeah. So it was that prophetic destiny. That was the first reason why. Why are you going through this? To fulfill a prophetic destiny. Do you know there's a prophetic destiny for your life? There's something that was said before you were born. There's something that was spoken before you were formed. I received grace to fulfill my prophetic destiny. Amen. That's going to be your prayer this morning. I received grace. Before you were born, something was said. What has been a failure? What's the definition of a failure? Someone that is living outside of his prophetic destiny. Someone that is living at par is prophetic destiny. Someone that is living contrary is prophetic destiny. What is greatness? Walking in line in tandem with your prophetic destiny. Walking in synchrony, in semblance with your prophetic destiny. That is greatness. You lift up your voice. I receive grace. Amen. to fulfill my prophetic destiny Amen. a whole nation was under siege but God used the lepers to help the nation meaning they became the answer to the generational questions the answer to the family question the answer to the national question the second prayer you pray Lord make me the answer to the question of my generation Amen. make me the answer to the question of my generation Amen. Now the generation is asking, where, where is God? If God is powerful, why is this happening to me? If God is powerful, am I going through this? Where is God? That you become the answer to the question of your generation. Amen. Right now, say after me, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My father, my father. All the enemies hear your voice. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I begin to pray. I receive grace. I receive my prophetic destiny. I receive grace. I receive my prophetic destiny. I receive my prophetic destiny. 
prophétiques de la grâce. Tu as accompli ma destinée. Tu as
In the name of Jesus. Yes. Somebody say, My father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, make me the answer. Make me the answer to the question of my generation. Make me the answer to the questions of my generation. Make me the answer. 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 Make
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Whenever you hear the sound of my voice, I make a declaration on your life that every nonsense in your life stops this month. Amen. I speak over your life. I receive. I receive. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That from today you are enabled. You are empowered. Amen. You work in your prophetic destiny. Amen. That which was spoken before you were born over you. Concerning you. About you. Begin to walk in the fulfillment. Amen. Begin to walk in the fulfillment. Amen. Have you not heard? Have you not known? That the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither fainted nor is he weary. For there is no searching to his understanding. He giveth power to the friend. The young man may fall. The youth may utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not do weary. They shall walk and they shall not faint. I decree upon your life I from my mouth to God's ears. In the mighty name of Jesus, work in your prophetic destiny. Yeah. Any force of power, any spirit of force that wants to manipulate you out of the spoken word before your predestination, out of the spoken word over your life before you were born and formed in your mother's womb, I decree that power lose your hold. Yeah. I speak to that power, lose your hold. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Someone is watching from America. The doctors told you to go home. Prepare. Because you will surely die. That's what the doctors told you. But God has sent me today to reverse it. Amen. He said I should reverse. Amen. You shall live and not die. Amen. After three days, go back to the same doctor. Tell them to take you through the same process of test. Do all the checks again. The Egyptians you saw before, you will see them no more. Yeah. The symptoms you saw before, you will see them no more. Yeah. I'm seeing somebody by the name of Lewis. Lewis, the hand of the Lord is falling mightily upon you. Yeah. I decree that you become the answer to the questions of your generation. Yeah. The generation is looking for a savior, looking for a helper, looking for someone that God has blessed to bless them. Asking God, when will God send the helper to them? God will so bless you Amen. that you become the helpers they are looking for. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's a woman holding a land document. There is a controversy over the land. Someone has taken and encroached on what is yours. But right now, all those who ganged up to do this, they will begin to fight themselves. Amen. Amen. They will begin to fight themselves. Amen. Amen. I'm seeing a fan. Is a fan fall on someone and God just delivered you from that attack. Amen. Amen. The intention of the enemy is to make a fan fall on you. But God just delivered you from that attack. Amen. Amen. Right where you are. That your vehicle that breaks down and has taken so much money from you, it has now become a, a, a demonic tool, a demonic strategy rather, to siphon money from you. Today, that demonic, satanic loophole is sealed. Amen. Amen. I pray for someone by the name of Dennis Atwa. Dennis Atwa. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. The kingdoms of marine, the marine world, have strategized that you live in perpetual penury, pain, and debt. But the Lord has overturned it. Amen. I'm seeing a name, a 
the letter D, is this Davina? But I'm seeing the last full name, Brooks. Brooks, B-R-O-O-K-S. I saw an evil garment covering your face. Those who should favor you never see you because there's an evil covering on your face right now. It catches fire. Amen. Amen. Don't forget the prophecy for one is a prophecy for all. Jesus said, what I say to one, I say to all. I decree receive your own testimony. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's your left hand where you are hurting. Mettez la main là vous avez des problèmes. Where you have a problem. Là vous avez des défis. The symptom of that attack. Les symptômes des attaques. And stretch the other hand. Et tendez l'autre main. I command. Je command. Disease in your body. Les maladies Out. dans votre corps. Your blood. Out. Out. In your bones. Out. Out. Your skin. Out. Your tissues. Out. Out. Your tendons. Dans Out. Your tendons. Your ligaments. Dans Out. Ligaments. Your sinews. Out. Your sinus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Come out in the name of Jesus. Aids. Aids. Out. HIV AIDS. Out. Out. God is healing somebody now. Yeah. Someone has a stammering tongue. You stutter. God is healing you now. Yeah. I come against every infirmity. Yeah. From your head to your toe. Yeah. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You are free. Amen. Carry your babies. Amen. Carry your children. Amen. Carry your babies. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Verse 24. Verse 24. Of same Deuteronomy chapter 2. Rise ye up, take your journey, and pass over the river Anon. Behold, I've given into thy hand Sion, the king of uh, the, 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 the Amorite, the king of Eshbon, and his land. Begin to possess it and contend with him in battle. Now, before I tell you what sound means, God says, I've given him into thy hand. Contend with him in battle. Why will I contend in battle if you have given me? There are things that are settled in the heavenlies, but they are not settled here. Forever, O Lord, Psalm 119, verse 89. But ever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. The word of God is settled in heaven. It's not settled on earth. It's your duty. To settle the word of God on earth. Your destiny has been settled in the realms of the spirit. So God says, well, I've given it to you. I've given it into thy hand. In other words, I've released it. It's now left for you to contend. And that's what we're doing in the place of prayer. I have under, as far as I'm concerned, in the heavens, before the host of angels, is a done deal, is settled. That on earth is not so. That's all we pray. We say, Thy will be done on earth as it is. Because in heaven, the will is settled. But on earth, it's our duty, our responsibility to lay hold on the ones of the altar and make sure it's established. So God has no problem. It's not all, it's not all up to God. Any faith or any believer that sees destiny as God's sole responsibility is an irresponsible believer. It's not God's sole responsibility. You have a part to play. You have a role to play. He said, I've given him to you. Don't go on vacation. Don't rest. Don't relax. Content. It means that everything God has given to us is tied to warfare. If God says, I've given you this, he says, I've given you this. Then he says, content. It means I tie this to warfare. That's how we pray. That's how we love the Lord. Because in our seeking God, in our following God, there are battles that God is handling. He said, I've given to that sound. When I checked what sound, sound means the end, the conclusion. God says, even when you think it's the end, you can still change it. Sound means coming to the end. God, so you have come to that point that you think is the end. It's not actually the end. If only you can contend. If you can contend, you will discover that it's not the end. For every end, there is a bend. I will not give up. My problem must give up. When you think you have come to the end of it, you get to a spot, the devil wants you to go back and start again. The spirit of repetition is actually the spirit of the end. When you cannot break through 
you cannot carve a new uh, path or chart for your life so you think that is the end so you come back to start again begin afresh begin again there are people every end of the year same thing they experienced it five years ago four years ago there's a way their year ends when it's getting to the end of the year like that there's a pattern at that sickness at that debt at that bad news at that death in the family in the name of jesus it is cancel today Amen. Amen. i will not give up my problems will give up i will not give up my problems will give up i will not give up my problems will give up I will not give up my problems with you. I say, my father, my father. My father, my father. father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. I will not give up. I will not give up. My problems will give up. My problems will give up. Your mouth and fire.
into your inheritance in the name of Jesus you will pass into your blessing in the name of Jesus you will pass into your rest in the name of Jesus hey this is the counsel of the Lord there are three people watching me with HIV thank you Jesus the Lord said to tell you you are HIV positive he said I should tell you now that you have just been declared negative your blood has just been cleansed and you are totally healed and free from that virus in the name of jesus christ Amen. the lord is healing everyone with infections infections in your blood any part of your body infection is gone god say check it go see the doctor all the symptoms are drying up now they're dying the name of jesus Amen. someone has been losing so much weight and you don't know why there's a worm you're going to pass it out there's a worm in your system that's affecting you so much you're going to pass it out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I hear a name like Nzehi. I don't know what that N Z E H I Nzehi. Nzehi. Your mother cursed you, placed a curse on you, and said some things against you. And that has affected you. It is reversed. By the blood of Jesus, that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord, be made the cause for us. As his written causes everyone that hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. I decree it is reversed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak the hand of God upon you. I speak the grace of God upon you. I speak the speed of God upon you. I decree you will not give up. Your problems will give up. There are pastors who are crying about to give up don't give up your mountains will give up your battles will give up in the name of jesus christ amen i speak rest over you in jesus name amen if you are sick in body place your left hand si vous êtes malade, placez votre and stretch your hand towards me i curse moi. the devil of infirmity Je to your body. Le i rebuke the devil of disease Je reprimande de ce diable de whatever de name it is called come out Quel qu soit le nom, sort be healed so guéri right now maintenant in your bone dans tes os your blood de sang your tissues de tissu your tendons de tendons your ligaments ligament your sinews sinus be healed so guéri in the mighty name of jesus amen, amen. the hand of the lord touch you que la main de dieu te make you whole la franchi and heal you et te guéri in jesus name amen, amen. somebody say my time has come my, my time, time has come, come. let's Thank you for joining us in prayer. See you next time.